A group of people that sadly know well the long-term impact of mass shootings is trying to come up with a new approach to helping victims even years after one of these tragedies. And today they talked with our Steve Steger to outline what they're thinking about. Steve? And Kyle, this group, victims first born out of the Aurora Theater shooting. Since then, they've been harshly critical of nonprofits raising funds after a shooting, arguing that they should directly distribute to victims rather than giving to a service provider and other nonprofits. To that end, they have rebranded their Victims Fund, now calling it the National Mass Shooting Victims Fund. It's a pool of money available to anyone who is a victim of a mass shooting for anything they might need. Victims First President Anita Bush, who lost her cousin Michaela Medic in the theater shooting, told me this fund will honor the donor's intent. So if a donor says they want to support victims of a specific shooting, that money will go to those victims. The thought behind this is victims constantly have needs, often struggle to fund those needs with the cash to pay for them. It could be an immediate or long term need, and Bush says that they decided to rename the fund to include the term mass shootings because that violence just doesn't seem to stop. It's shocking the amount we 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 can barely keep up at times um, just to keep helping. But we'll you know, we promise to be there and keep helping as long as people need help. For Club Q victims, it's been uh, rental assistance. We've helped uh, for accessibility needs. We helped um, rip out a carpet and install hard, hard flooring, you know, um, for so that they could use it with a walker um, in their apartment. Um, we we um, help with food, utilities. Victims first, vets who they're giving donations to. People have to provide some sort of proof that they were involved in a mass tragedy. This is a fun for any mass casualty event, though, not specifically a shooting. But it is a sad sign of the times that it decided to use that term in the name of the fund just because this keeps happening over and over again, Kyle. Yeah, how horrific that this keeps happening and that it falls to survivors and victims' families to do the organizing about how to do this better. And, and we still have the issue that uh, when a tragedy happens, society often turns away within, what, 48, 72 hours a week? So the, the window to capture people's attention and their generosity is often very short. It's so small, and the, uh, these groups say that they, they try very hard to get a fund stood up very quickly. Uh, Victims First does set up a fund, uh, but they and they have kind of a different direction that they want to take with the money that they raise. Uh, but it's such a difficult window, that short span of time when folks are really, really looking to help. People are so generous, but really the attention's on it for about 48 hours, maybe yeah. even a week. Steve, thank you. Yep.